Now, I don't know about you, but, but I am really struggling with this third lockdown. We're two weeks in today, two weeks today. I, I'm managed dry January so far. I, I had a little slip at the beginning, but two weeks so far I've done. But fitness, diet, and the rest of it has kind of gone out the window. So, so Connor from Absolute Body Solutions, we've got you back on, mate. Just, just to guide us through and give us a little boost uh, as lockdown continues. What's the biggest thing that we should be looking for and doing right now stuck at home? Yeah, definitely. So for the diet side of things, so keeping active is obviously part of it. But while we're on the nutrition for today, the key thing overall is to manage your calories um, and keep your calorie control or calories under control. So obviously, so the first thing is don't go over on your calories too much. Now, that's not just day to day, that's week to week as well. So if you have a bad day on a Saturday, you need to make sure you are sort of planning for that. Monday to Friday as well. So generally what we try and do is reduce your cal calories a little bit Monday to Friday to allow you that little bit more calories, what you're naturally going to have potentially with a cheap meal with alcohol on a Saturday. The next important one then is to try and hit a protein goal. So within our business, we try and hit one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So if you try and keep your calories under control and hit your protein target of the one gram of protein per pound body weight. If you get them two things right, you're on your way to sort of a decent diet. Then trying to generally be sensible with it, you know, you know yourself. If you look at an item, is this good? If it's a Mars bar, no. Is it an apple? Yes. Then, you know, use a little bit of common sense, hit your protein target, keep your calories under control and plan during the week that you're probably going to have a cheap meal later on and reduce the calories that little bit less in the week is generally the best place to start. Do you know what, though? I won't like it. It is tough, I find, this, this lockdown, because you, you're kind of searching all the time, aren't you, for stuff to take your mind off it, just to give you a little boost, to put a little smile on your face. So that Mars bar sometimes is all you've got. What, what advice would you say if you are one of them people like me who's just constantly going to the fridge, just for boredom, really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And also what we're finding as well is um, portion size is, is becoming a big one because you're more bored at home. You've got nothing else to do. So if your lunch takes you longer to eat because it's a bigger portion, it gives you something to do a little bit longer. So keeping it under control, having a plan to follow. So writing it out um, and having a meal plan specifically, meal by meal to follow. But another sort of trick what we like to use is go on a high carb day on a Wednesday and a Saturday. So how we do it generally with, when a client first starts with us is we'll give a mini cheat on a Wednesday and then a, a main cheat on a Saturday. And the Wednesday is enough because it's midweek, or, although at the minute you don't really know what day is what. But the Wednesday gives you that midweek point. So you can stick to it Monday, Tuesday, have a little bit of a treat Wednesday, Stick to it Thursday, Friday, little bit of a cheat on Saturday, back to it more on just a bit of control on the Sunday. So giving yourself the midweek sort of, we don't quite do like if a Saturday night's the chippy, what we discussed last time, Wednesday night's not going to be the chippy. That's going to be, it might be like beef bolognese with rice. So it's something where it's a nice meal, but you're still hitting your protein target from it. It's just higher carbs than what you would normally have then that's generally what we find and finding healthy treats as well. So like chocolate rice cakes are great. Um, so rather than grabbing a biscuit, grabbing a chocolate rice cake can be good. Not quite the weather for it at the minute, but way hay ice cream or like low calorie halo top, I think it is ice cream, them kind of sort of low calorie treats rather than going and grabbing a Mars bar where your calories go through the roof. Tell me about deliveries and takeaways, because obviously everyone, that, that's kind of our little treat at the minute and thing to look forward to. Can you get a healthy Chinese, for instance? Chinese is a little bit more difficult. What we, we have sort of a scale, what we try and work off with our clients. So we have it, okay, if you want a Chinese, could you get a Thai? You know, the Thai is probably going to be a little bit healthier than the Chinese. From there... Is it maybe a Turkish? Because you're going to be able to get chicken, rice, that kind of thing. So then the next stage is Turkish. Is it, if you want a burger, make the burger yourself. 
And then it's, if you can get onto the sort of the Turkish meal, can you make the chicken and rice at home? So it's a scale of the worst case is going to be probably pizza because the calories are just crazy. Then Chinese, then Thai, then Turkish, and then cook it yourself at home. So it's, yeah, it, it's a scale of things. You're obviously going to be able to pick better than worse things at the Chinese, but we generally try and go, okay, if you want a Chinese, can you go to the one below instead? If you're going to want the Thai, okay, what about if you add the one below that instead? So trying to go, which one do you want, but would you settle for the one below that effectively on the scales where we try and work it? Okay, just just a personal question. Where, where does KFC sit on the, on this scale, Connor? Uh, probably in there with the Chinese, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, let's talk exercise, mate, because again, it's it's raining today, raining the next couple of days. People people aren't as willing to get out and about and outside. What's your advice for being stuck at home and sticking to your exercise routine? Yeah, so for, for us with our business personally, what we've tried to do is on a Monday on our social, on our Instagram page, you'll see a weekly challenge. So last week was a 5K run. Today, oh well, yesterday's one and this week's one is how many steps can you do in a day? Obviously, that's going to be outside. So trying to time the weather for that. One of our trainers done 37,000 steps wow. in a day, which yeah, is, is crazy. I think we've got one client who's probably going to beat him, though, to be fair. Um, but yeah, we're, we're trying to do a weekly challenge. Now, next week's one is indoors, so having a look out for that. On a Wednesday, we do a live class workout as well. So it's half five every Wednesday during lockdown. We're doing a live. Um, that you can follow along with at home. That's going to be indoor-based. We've got our Zoom program as well. So if someone wants one-to-one training, we've got the Zoom program to um, have a look at as well. But in terms of, if you're looking to plan it at home, bodyweight workouts at home or using tins, things like that, that's the way to do it. You can still train. It isn't going to be as effective as being in the gym. That's the reality of it. But we're generally not trying to make progress during this time. It's more trying to limit the negative side. So if you're going to be increasing your calories, we need to burn something off at least to try and maintain where you are now. It's more just stay active, release the endorphins, stay mentally a bit more focused. And yeah, do a bodyweight workout at home. It doesn't have to be really, really hard. Like that's one thing we're finding is it's easier for us to train our clients hard in person and get the most out of them but at home do you really want to kill yourself you you don't but if you make it enjoyable and fun if you kill yourself and you make it too hard it's not going to be enjoyable and at the minute during this it's 20 30 minutes snappy workouts that are fun enjoyable and yeah the key is enjoy it that way it becomes consistent and that's how you stay on top of it then Okay, I'm chatting to Connor from Absolute Body Solutions. Connor, really interesting point you made there about about walking, because everyone is on this this step challenge at the minute, and our phones are great for this. We're all getting out for our daily walk. What advice would you give us to kind of shift shift a load of calories as we're doing that, and to and to make the most of these daily walks that we're doing? Yeah, so generally the the key is sort of try and hit ten to twelve thousand steps a day is the main one. Base it off what you do, though. So if already you're doing 15,000 steps a day, by doing 10 to 12,000 steps a day isn't going to give you an improvement because now you're already doing that. So set a goal higher than what you already do. If your steps are currently 3,000 a day, by setting a goal of 12,000, you're probably not going to reach that and you'll get disinterested in it because it's too far away. So set a goal, maybe 2,000 steps more than what you're doing a day naturally and try and get them extra steps in. Obviously, watch the nutrition at the same time. And that will probably be the main one. Set a goal a little bit further than what you would normally do, especially on the days where you're going to have your treat meal. Try and get out and get the steps in that day a little bit more. And when you're walking, is there a kind of way to do it? Do you power walk or is it just a normal stroll? How do you, how do you lose those calories? For this, it's just, um, it's neat. So it's non-exercise activity thermogenesis. So it's, I wouldn't say, it's more hit the steps rather than it have to be a power walk or, you know, a slow walk. It's just more hit the step goal. If you then want to turn it more into exercise, turning it into a run, into a jog, you bring a more of a workout element into it. But for the steps, it's generally just get the steps done. Okay. If you're locked up inside, up and downstairs, could be one. <laughs> 
it's a good it's a good way to do it. But it does work though, doesn't it? Walking is is good for you. We have got to put that out there. Yeah, hundred percent. We try and get all of our clients who are on our training programs with us, trying to hit that ten to twelve thousand a day um, throughout their training as well. And it makes a difference. Even just getting out in the fresh air at the minute, we're cooped up at home. I know. Yesterday, I was in my office all day, and by the end of the day, in at the house, this is. I was looking outside onto the front garden, and my wife went, "Right, we need to go out." You just stare and blankly outside. So it's like. We took the dog out for a walk and get out, and it makes you feel better just being in the fresh air rather than cooped up inside all day too, as well as sort of the um, calorie burn that I can give you. Okay, listen, mate, thank you for chatting to us again. Uh, make no sure problem. you follow on Absolute Body Solutions, Instagram, Facebook for, for those plans and stuff. Uh, and Wednesday, make sure you check out check out the, the Zoom class. That is, that is right, isn't it? So it's a Wednesday night Instagram, sorry. So okay. we do an Instagram live every Wednesday. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do that again, mate, and I'll just say, where can we find out more? Yeah. Okay, Connor, nice one again for chatting to us, mate. We'll speak to you again in a couple of weeks. Where can we find out more about Absolute Body Solutions? Yeah, great. Thanks, Jay. So Instagram at Absolute Body Solutions. We're also on Facebook with the same line. On Instagram, we do a live um, workout every Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. And on our Instagram as well, you'll see details of our zoom personal training program that we're doing perfect can i will speak to you soon thanks mate thanks jay